Tradezilla backtesting full tutorial and guide. So in today's video, I'll be going through everything you need to know about Tradezilla's backtesting feature, going through a live demo, just going through everything you need to know so you can really get a good understanding of how it works inside of the Tradezilla app. So with that being said, let's begin today's video. And if you haven't signed up for Tradezilla already, make sure to click the top link down below and use the coupon code SAVE20 to get a 20% off discount right off the bat instantly. So make sure to use the, the coupon code SAVE20. So instead of paying full price right here, you'll actually get 20% off discount instantly by using the coupon code SAVE20. Okay, so inside of your Tradezilla accounts, what you wanna go ahead and do is go over here to back testing and you can actually create a new session. So I already have a session already created, but you can create a new one. So for the sake of today's video, I'll create a new session from scratch to show you the process to so give the session a name. So I can just give this a name like test for video, for example, give it a description. So I'll just keep it the same. And then what you want to go ahead and do is connect it to a playbook, which is basically another way of saying the trading strategy. So you can create a new playbook from scratch or you can use an existing one. So I'm going to go ahead and use an existing one just for today's video tutorial. And then you can choose the type of trading you're going to be doing. So let's just go ahead and choose crypto for an example. And then you can obviously choose the trading pair that you're going to be going ahead and trading with. So choose whatever that's going to be like applicable to you based off your own data. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose this one for an example. And then you can put in a balance. So balance is basically going to be the money that you're going to be quote unquote trading with through the historical data you're going to be going through. Because again, backtesting with Tradezilla is pretty much a way so you can test and analyze your trading strategies and methods using past data to see how you would have performed in the past without risking your money, right? So it's like a stimulation, testing out your different strategies before you actually go ahead and use it like with real money, right? So again, this is the whole point of this is to essentially help you understand your strategy to see if it's getting you the results that you want or to see that if, if it's not getting you the results that you obviously want, then you can learn from it and then like try different strategies and different approaches. So you're doing all of this without risking real money, right? So anyway, for my balance, I'm just going to put in, let's just say $50,000 to make it a bit more interesting. You can choose the start date. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back and put in choose July for example we can do it from the first and then I'll put the end date all till to the 30th so if we go here we can go ahead and do that okay and create a session all right so this is what it's going to look like inside of your back testing session like inside of the tool when you're doing your back testing now I did change the dates up a little bit but apart from that the settings are pretty much the same and it's the exact same process with regardless of which settings or which trading pairs and what time period you are using the back testing tool for so because we're basically using this to simulate a real life trading environment in this case using our past data to practice our trading so in this case, let's just go through the basics and go through what we need to know regarding the backtesting tool inside of Tradezilla. So first and foremost, click on play. It's going to simulate the real life trading environment as if it was like live right now and using like the past data to go ahead and do this. So you can actually go ahead and to this part right here to like change the candle where you, if you want the candle to be like one minute intervals or two minute, five minute, 10 minute. Or if you can, you can even do like one to five seconds or even like, low, you know, times like that, depending like which plan you go with. And you can move the candle backwards if you'd like and vice versa. You can obviously make it go forward and play the candle as, it was, as you can see, it's been going live as well. Now, I like to see like this with this to have like the same time, but you don't have to. I mean, it's up to you personally what you want to do, but like I just like personally what I do. You can obviously see the candles right here. You can change it out so it can be like a hollow candle, for example, or you can make it into just bars, or you can make it into whatever you'd like. Essentially, it's going to be completely up to you. You can change it to lines, lines, and markers. I just like to leave it as like candles. That's like how I like to look at it. And as you can see right here, there is lots of, lots of different tools we can utilize right here, like I said before. And if we go over here, we can add long and short positions manually. So another cool thing as well is like when you're going through this, like doing the back testing. So if we just accept that, you can actually increase the speed so it goes fast. 
So if it's going 10 times the speed now, you can make it go five times the speed, two times the speed. The speed. You can even make it go 0 0.5, so it's actually like much more slower. So it's up to you what you want to do in terms of the speed. And then of course you can adjust like the candle, whether you want it in one minute portions or more or less, it's going to be up to you, right? What you can also do is you can change the time period in which you're actually going through the data. So you can use data in different time periods. So if I wanted to like do it, use the data at like six o'clock, I can click on okay and it'll basically reset that and give me the data at this given time during the day. If I like to go back into a particular day, so maybe like the 9th of July, I can go ahead and do that and it will reset the data and give me data based on that particular time during the day. And then I can go back as well in the past Obviously, I set the time to in July, but like if, if I were to like input data from like the past, like, you know, I could go ahead and change the year, the months and do all that type of stuff as well. So it's very flexible in terms of being able to like load the data. What you can also go ahead and do is if you go over here to settings, you can change the color, you know, based on the previous close. So you can change like, the, the green to whatever you want vice versa you can change to the borders the wick you can add all of this as well so you can add your own time zone and you can change you know adjust the things inside of the status line you can adjust all of this the scales and lines the canvas you can do all of this right here inside of settings and of course you can zoom in and out so if we go over here this is where you can actually place and buy orders so you can do an advance order and let's just say in our case we go over here to details we have a fifty thousand dollar balance so we can go ahead and click on place order and if you want to go ahead and trade two percent of our balance you can see that our position size is going to be 1.98 so this is going to be in bch so we can go two percent one percent zero point five three percent it's up to you what do you want to go ahead and do in terms of like testing out the balance so in this case, we can go ahead and buy. We can obviously go ahead and sell as well and choose the market, limit, stop, whatever you prefer, whatever you want to go ahead and try. So what you can do is you can obviously like open orders, you can sell orders, you can do this here. You can obviously add advance orders like we kind of went through before. And it's quite easy to go ahead and just like go ahead and like, for example, if we like have this just go live, we can just have a go buy. And then if you want to sell a certain period, we can go sell right here as well so these are open positions so if we just go down here we can obviously expand this and you can see that there are, these are the positions that are currently open we can close them quite quickly too we'll do a partial close it's going to be up to you so in this case I'm going to go ahead and close these and close this and then you can see like when you've sold when you when you've purchased all that type of stuff and going back to this graph if we go over here what I like to use as well, which is another pretty cool tool that I like to use for this graph, is if we go over here, we can open short long positions just through this projection tool. So if we zoom in, we can do this and we can adjust our long and short, like when we, when we actually wanna stop and when we wanna achieve the long target very easily. As you can see right here on screen, we can zoom into it then yeah, it's quite easy to do as well. We can have that play. And then you can, you can you can see that, you know, it will obviously fulfill right here. If we actually have an order. But yeah, it's quite it's quite a lot of things you can do inside of the, the back testing tool. Now in, if we actually go over to to our Tradezilla dashboard, so if we go back to the session list, we can actually see our data for this particular session we just went through right now so what we can go ahead and do is we can go ahead and click on this session right here and we can go ahead and click on session results and this will actually show us like all the data right inside of Tradezilla so we can analyze it right here so let's click on session results then as you can see you'll be able to see all of your data right here on screen including your net PL, trade win percentage, profit factor, daily win percentage, your average win loss trade, your Zello score, your daily net accumulative PL, and all the other stats right here as you can see on screen. You can see obviously the stats in a given day. So if I click on this, I can see the details for this particular day, including like all the trades, as you can see right here on screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back. You can obviously add notes. 
And again, the backtesting feature on the Sub Trade Zella gives you a learning environment where you can essentially try this without risking real money, which is pretty cool. And then you can analyze your information inside on TradeZilla through the backtesting dashboard. Of course, we can go through the daily journal. We can see the stats. And we can, again, add notes. We can see our winners, our losers, and the overall trades and everything else that comes with it. We can see the individual trades as well that we've actually made. So we can go through any one of these trades individually. So let's, for example, choose this one, and we can go ahead and actually analyze the trade. And just like we went through, I actually have another video where we go through a review and go through all that information inside of TradeZella. And we kind of went through the like the analytics and the things you can analyze inside of TradeZella, of course. But like you can do this again for the backtesting sessions that you do inside of TradeZella as well. And this is like obviously the information that's given us for the particular trade that we decided to like analyze in more detail. If we go over here to Notebook, you can, again, you can add Notes, the Playbook feature. That's pretty cool as well. And if we go over here to reports, this is where you're going to see a bulk of information that you can go ahead and check out and utilize in terms of like your back set back testing session as well. And of course, you can go ahead and use this then to learn from your back testing session. So you can essentially see in that PNL, obviously, if we go over here to reports, this is where you can see reports based on the day and time, the symbols, the risk, playbooks, tag, plenty of data you can you pretty much see right off the bat, like after you finish your uh, back testing session and you can end that whenever you want so that is a back testing dashboard in the area in terms of like the data that you can see and of course if you want to go through your previous back testing sessions not just the one that you just finished you can go over here and you can essentially choose your back testing session so i did another one that was called may so if i wanted to like check out that data i can click on that and it'll load like my statistics and, and, and all the stats that were seen on screen for my other back testing session or you could even just click on all sessions and it'll show you the overall statistics based on your all your back testing sessions. So it's gonna be up to you on what data you want. You can obviously adjust this right via the data and and I mean sorry, not data, the date and the range. And you can even adjust like it with different filters, with general filters, tags, day and time, or even through playbooks. So you can apply many different filters to get the desired information that you want inside of TradeZilla. So that's pretty much it for today's video in terms of the backtesting um, tool inside of TradeZilla. Now, again, if you do want to actually try TradeZilla yourself, simply click the top link down below in the video description and use the coupon code SAVE20 to save 20% off on either one of these plans right here on screen. So it's not a painful price, just use the coupon code SAVE20 and you can essentially save a bunch of money when trying out and using TradeZilla. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching today's TradeZilla backtesting tutorial video and guide.